says no assets re-looted by EFCC operatives. Myers $2 million property, six properties in EFCC's custody. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC's, Acting Chairman Ibrahim Magu confirmed yesterday that over N2.8 billion was recovered from suspected pension thieves in the office of the head of the Civil Service of the Federation and Police Pension Office. The cash component excludes many choice assets placed either under permanent or interim forfeiture by courts. Besides, he insisted that none of the assets seized by the EFCC was re-looted by the operatives of the Commission under any guise. Magu, in a bear-it-all fact sheet he made available to the National Assembly to clear the air on the controversy on the assets seized from pension fraud suspects challenged the brains behind the rumor of re-looting to go the whole hog to name the ghost officials that engaged in this sharing of pension booty, and the place and time the sharing took place. He insisted that former chairman of the Pension Reform Task Team, Mr. Abdul Rashid Meyer remains wanted by the Atigraft Agency. But he said Meyer's $2 million Abuja Mansion and six others have been placed under interim forfeiture. Details of Meyer's alleged assets are contained in the document. Magu said there was no cause for alarm because all seized assets were well documented. He said what was playing out was a diversionary gambit intended to befuddle ongoing inquiry over the Maya reinstatement saga by smearing anyone or agency that is capable of unmasking the real pension thieves. Magu said, the suspects investigated in the police pension fraud from whom assets were seized, include, Atiku Kigo, S.A. Dagaba, Ahmed Ayuwawada, Veronica Oyegbula, Utuoma Serial Atag. Sehab Azura, John Yusuf and their associated companies and persons. In the pension office of the office of the head of the civil service of the Federation, those from whom properties were recovered are Shay Butiadi, Fayachidi, Abdul Mohammed, Emmanuel Olepeku, Ali Ubello and their associated companies and persons. The assets seized from these suspects are in two categories. There are assets that are under interim forfeiture which means that they are temporarily seized pending the determination of the substantive cases in court. Such assets cannot be dissipated because the cases are pending in court. The reality is, most of the assets recovered from pension fraud suspects belong in this category. The cash element of the recoveries is also carefully documented. The total funds recovered stand at N2, dollars $3,017,556.73, $3, and €3,385.40. The sum of N16. One hundred and eighty five million one hundred and thirty one thousand eight hundred and forty seven point zero nine, which was recovered from an illegal account in an old generation bank, has since been remitted to the office of the head of service, while N three hundred and sixty nine five hundred and fifty eight thousand six hundred and forty point nine nine represents the cash component of John Yusuf's final forfeiture. There is no opacity regarding the Commission's handling of the assets recovered from suspects of pension fraud. The fact speaks for itself. On the properties confiscated from suspected pension thieves, Magu said they are being managed in a transparent arrangement put in place by the Assets Forfeiture Department of the Commission. He said Etudo and Co.